This section should help you avoid errors commonly made by students. Getting the number scale in the Pabetman wrong is an error commonly made. On the P1000, the first number, which is red, represents thousands of microliters. The second number represents hundreds of microliters, and the third number represents tens of microliters. On the P200, the first number displayed represents hundreds of microliters, the second number represents tens of microliters, and the third represents ones of microliters. On the P20, the first number displayed represents tens of microliters, the second number displayed represents ones of microliters, and the third number, which is red, represents tenths of microliters. Not choosing the correct pipetment is an easy error to make when you first start to use pipetment. Using the example of 200 microliters again, using the P1000 to measure this amount is incorrect. Essentially, the pipette tip should be as full as possible, as this will reduce the chance of error. If the P1000 you are using has a tip less than one fifth full, you should be using the P200. Remember the range of the three pipetmen and you should have no trouble choosing the correct pipette. Section 3 Using the plunger incorrectly. The correct method for pipetting is to depress the plunger to the first stop or point of resistance, immerse the tip in the liquid, and slowly release the plunger to its starting point. Depressing the plunger to the second stop before inserting the pipette tip into the liquid is incorrect and will result in an excess amount of liquid, as shown here. Releasing the plunger too quickly will result in inaccurate pipetting and may cause liquid to be drawn into the barrel of the pipette, which may then have to be repaired. Not putting the pipette tip into the centre of the liquid may result in errors in pipette. Specifically, pipetting from too near the meniscus may lead to air bubbles in your pipette tip, as shown here. While pipetting from too near the bottom of your test tube may lead to a non-homologous sample of the liquid. To ensure accurate pipetting, position the tip towards the centre of the test tube and release the plunger slowly. Remember, never rotate the volume adjustment knob past the upper or lower range of the pipetman as this will damage the pipette. Never use the pipetman without a tip in place as this can ruin the inner workings. Never lay the pipetman down on its side when it contains liquid. This liquid could run into the pipetman, rendering it useless. Never let the plunger snap back after withdrawing or ejecting fluid as this can damage the piston. Never immerse the barrel of the pipetman into the fluid. Always use a disposable tip.